and past psychic Tracy Moon. This is for December 20th, 2018, your tarot reading for the day. We're starting off with a new deck. This is the Ace of Pentacles. You know, um, this is physical cash. You've done the work. You're able to enjoy the big money. And that's because you are in tune with your environment and you've seen the visions like this on her head and you're in tune with the vision <clears throat> and therefore uh, your surroundings are not going to attack you. You're going to fit right in um, with your environment. Um, also Thursday is uh Uranus is trying the sun, and so this is going to give you a new perspective. Um, being able to see things from a different angle, an idea that comes to mind, not thinking the same as you had before in the past. Uh, everything's enlightened from this perspective, and you're able to really uh, move from this place. Um, perhaps in the past there were some obstacles, but you know, uh, you have overcome these obstacles and you're holding your ground, taking your stance. Uh, you have overcome these, overcome these obstacles and are now in a position of winning. <clears throat> the Six of Cups normally is about children, being children, stepchildren, anything about children. But this card really reminds me of nostalgia. And going back to when things were really good, you know, just enjoying the moment for what it is, these fleeting, beautiful moments uh, that we have as children. Um, this too shall pass, and but while we're in the moment, really being able to enjoy the moment. And this is coming up to be the winter solstice. Um, so this is when the sun disappears and it becomes the coldest of the whole year and so I've actually turned down my heater and put on my sweaters and my scarves just to kind of you know be in touch with what it would be like if it were my ancestors um, and just kind of going back to this idea of what the winter solstice is or was and how it was celebrated back then I don't know how you feel but I feel like, I don't want to celebrate Christmas. It has a lot of mm, heavy feelings. I mean, my sister died, and at the time I was like, all I want for Christmas is her, and I couldn't, you know, get past that. Of course, it's been a long time, so I'm, I'm processing that. But when I started thinking about celebrating the winter solstice and the sun and getting back to nature and really... Um, experiencing it from um, not a whimsical thing from Walmart with colors and bells and Santa Claus. It was like having that nostalgia of what what it was like as a child brings back all of these wonderful feelings and like having a Yule log and lighting candles and incense and drinking um, you know, cinnamon and orange tea or spiced wine and, um, you know, living in Europe for 10 years is really a different feeling to uh, this time of year than uh, here in the States. So I really like the idea of these hand knitted scarves and your, your hand knitted things that you worked on all winter long. And so I really love going to the craft markets because people have put their energy into and it just reminds me of this card you know going back and being you know imaginative and, and, and nostalgic and so the prince of wands um this is like a, a race car driver someone who's moving or going fast or changing residences um <clears throat> really embracing the power of being younger and not uh, settling into an old lifestyle that you know people hold on to things and he's he's like on a roll and he's got this idea and I really love these hit headdresses on these cards um, <clears throat> just embracing that Leo side and having the strength and the power to move forward and it's really about moving 
moving forward. The Two of Wands is about knowing who you are and standing your ground and deciding in this world who you want to be and uh, embracing it with um, confidence and power and fire. Um, so I like that, you know, maybe it's uh, also in the, envir in, in the environment, just like knowing where you are, you've chose to be where you are and um, you're there for a reason. And now you know what your calling is and how to do it. So just going forth, even if you don't know the end outcome, like what fun would it be if you knew what the end outcome was, but just do it. <clears throat> and the way we're thinking and feeling on this day is that you know maybe there was something that you're actually have a divine purpose and you're called to do but you weren't doing it and um or you know if you don't make a decision a decision will be made for you through god so to keep you on the path that you're supposed to be on um, you know, all the trials and, and tribulations that you have are to set you on that path. So maybe something didn't end up being the way that you wanted it to be, or you were doing something in life that caused a disturbance in the way that your destiny is to be. This is telling you it's a wake up call and it's an enlightening time. So just go ahead and get out there and it's okay that your crown has fallen off because you'll get a, a different one, you know, a new one, an ordained one. <clears throat> the future is beautiful. So this could be a garden, uh, beauty, natural beauty, uh, having cash. Look at, she lives in a nice castle. She works in the yard. She's natural beauty. Um, they enjoy very nice things and took all the precautions and the steps to get where they are and are is just able to sit back and enjoy it and be beautiful in her own right, um, just like you. So, and in the end, we've got the King of Wands. This is, and look, so he's got his crown again. It looks like in the last one it fell off. Um, but now he's regained his crown. He knows who he is. He's outgoing, maybe a race car driver, someone who's in the public talking, um, media, writing, books, um, a comedian, or uh, just a real fiery, wonderful personality. And uh, so that's how we can be um, and approach this. You know, in the end, through all the trials and tribulations that we have, um, we will um, gain enlightenment, uh, stability, uh, know exactly what we want to do. And with Uranus trying the sun, this is a time to have great ideas. Uh, they will bring you money and abundance. You put in the work and you're able to enjoy it. You can have a nostalgic feeling throughout this new winter solstice time of the year, um, really diving in, listening to your intuition about where to go, finding your strength, mastering your environment. You've had the ideas, you've come out on top, you know what to do, you don't have to say words about it, you're on fire, moving, going, even this. If this is a combination, this could be a race car driver, someone who's driving fast, and travel, all right? So this is travel. Lots of extensive travel to go see family. So be careful on the roads. And be confident. Know who you are. Know that you're ordained to be here. And that whatever change has come up, acknowledge that change and get on the path. Your divine path. This is Tracy Moon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my videos. Uh, check out the links below for my website, uh, keentarot.com. I look forward to talking to you again on the solstice.